so I wake up this morning, getting ready, you know, to go to work and everything. Go upstairs to brush my teeth. And, you know, I pop in to my dad's room to, you know, just to say what's up or whatever. And he's not in it. Now, to you, this might be normal, but he left here late last night and said that he was going to be back soon. And now he's still not here. And the time is 8.46. I know he doesn't have work in the morning, at least not today. So I'm starting to think that my dad might be a secret agent. Or Batman. <laughs> this is my attempt at trying to make coffee, but... I don't think I'm doing this right. So this over here is the studio that I work at for my internship. This is where all the interviews take place. They got the gray screen in the background here. Lights set up. It's pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. What up, people? We're at, we made it to Peterborough. Uh, <laughs> we're not even going to begin to tell you about the journey. We almost got lost thanks to my GPS, but uh, we finally made it an hour and a half later. And uh, we're about ready to go on in just a little bit. So, uh, yeah, man. How do you think we're going to do, guy? I have no idea. Yeah, man. Wish me luck. To be honest, we, we're not even prepared, man. I'm not even gonna lie, yo. We, uh, man, it's gonna be, hopefully it doesn't end up being a disaster. That's why I hate clubbing. Because some nigga just puked on my shoe. It's fucking gross. So what do you think of the battle, yo? You know, it was all right. I'm still living, right? That's you did, man. But we didn't represent for Toronto, guy. We made it to the the semifinals or the finals, and we got eliminated because we were on the the home turf, man. Straight up, guy. I'm not even gonna lie. Like my last set was weak, yo. I, I <laughs> ran out of shit, guy. <laughs> yo, I was like, you're gonna post, yo. Fuck, man. I'm so pissed, man. That nigga fucking barfed on my shoe, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, so, I'm like, the nigga was like, okay, he comes through and he's like dancing, right? And then, like, he like he accidentally like, knocked me like that, right? So yeah, he was like, yeah, my yeah. bad, my bad. I was just like, don't worry about it. All of a sudden, I see, like, I hear a splash, like, oh. and I thought, I thought he fucking dropped his, uh, his drink or something, right? So I was like, what the fuck? I look at the ground, where's, and I felt it on my shoe. And I'm like, where's the bottle? And then I, I look up at his face, and he's convulsing. And I'm fucking like, yo, she's called it. Want to answer? Yo. Yo, where are you, man? We're lost. No, I do not. I do not. Here, yo, yo, talk to tap. Yo, hold up. Yo. Yeah, uh, we're at Elmer and Charlotte right now. Um, okay, wait, I see my car. Never mind, never mind, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're still in Peterborough, on our way back to Toronto, and uh, this was a fucked up day, man. I am never coming to Peterborough again. Sorry, Nina, I love you to death, but uh, this town is fucking whack, man. All right, guys, I'm back home. 
dropped off my boy, B-Boy Eddie, B-Boy Future. See, I'm, you can tell I'm really tired. But, um, yeah, man, this day was... I was on five hours of sleep. I had to go to work. I was late for work. And then, yeah, they, they, they wrote me up. And after work, I went to go pick up my boy uh, for the show. I get to Future's house. You know, I plug in Peterborough, the Peterborough address into this fucking thing. And lesson learned, you get what you pay for. I didn't buy this fucking shit. My dad did. And I think he spent about 15 bucks on it. You know, normally GPSs go for like $100 and they range up from there. You know, but if you're getting something like this for $10 or $15 or whatever the fuck he paid for it, yo, this thing is this thing is just going to guide you into danger, man. This thing was telling me to make illegal turns on roads that were no longer in existence. Like, they were telling me to make right turns on into ditches and shit like my phone started losing signal because Peterborough is out in the middle of no fucking nowhere man no one knows where this place is right and so you know we almost crashed like a million times because there's no fucking st like street lights anywhere when you're on the highway the lights just stop they're just like fuck it nigga I, I ain't going anymore you know and they just stop we get there late so we don't even have the opportunity to rehearse on stage as soon as we get there they're just like no we're not letting anyone else on stage so we were fucked because we had one practice here and absolutely no practices when we got there and this is when it starts to get really bad i'm there trying to wake myself up before we go on and this dude comes out of nowhere drunk off his ass and decides that he's gonna just vomit all over my shoe that just fucked up my whole entire mood. It got to the point where I would li I was literally contemplating driving back home because I was done. That was that was it. You know what I mean? Too much fucked up shit was happening this night. I'm just like fuck it. But you know we drove all that way, so it wouldn't really make much sense. So and after that, uh, we're waiting to go on, and I fucking sucked. My like I. I haven't seen the footage, but I know that my performance anyway, like, uh, Future killed it. Shout out to Future, but uh, me, on the other hand, I, fuck. After that, they decided that they were going to do, the judge said that he, he they wanted to do individual battles. The crowd wasn't giving us any love, man. Like, the, seriously, like, we, when, they would, they would call out people's names, like, the, like, the other, the other five people, they would call out their names, the crowd would be going crazy, like, oh, shit, and they'd be like, Tactics and Future from uh, Toronto and be like <coughs> <coughs> That's all we heard, you know what I mean? I tried to represent the best I could You know Future held his own for a little while, but then they they eliminated him and I made it to the final round and then and then yeah, like I don't know man. I ran out. I, I guess I ran out of shit. I was too tired whatever like I'm not trying to make excuses or anything, but um yeah, ultimately he the this next dude took the battle, and he was sick. He was I, I give him props, man. Like real shit. Now it gets to the point where I'm I'm in the club and I'm we're we're, in, we're all in the club obviously, and I'm chilling and I'm just like you know doing my thing or whatever, and then this random this random chick just comes right beside me and just starts looking at me, doesn't say anything, doesn't wave or make any kind of gesture or you know implying that she wants something she just stares at me and i kept asking her yeah like what, what's up because she was creeping me the fuck out and then eventually you know she finally starts like you know just making these gestures like she'd be like whatever like and it, it wasn't even like sexually sexually suggestive it was just like weird shit like she would just be like you know and i'd be like i Maybe she's deaf. I don't know. I, I don't understand sign language. So I was trying to like, you know, do whatever I could to kind of like let her know that I don't understand sign language. And then she just kept going with the shit. She finally starts talking to me. And uh, I still, I can't understand what she's saying. People have been screaming in my ear all night and I can't hear. I, that, this is why I don't like clubs because I can't hear what the fuck you're saying to me. You know what I mean? And so she's 
trying to have a conversation. So, you know, we I, I pull her off to the side a little bit and we're talking. And now I don't know if I heard this right, but I could have swore she said that she usually, she said some, she was started talking about some shit about how she usually goes home with the bartender. And I was like, okay, so you were staring at me for 10 minutes to tell me that you fucked the bartender. Yeah, after that, I kind of just got bored and walked away. Tonight was very bizarre. And this is exactly why I stay at home because whenever I go out to these places, like, fucked up shit just happens. You know, like, this shit doesn't happen when I'm home. Anyway, I'm your boy Tactics. Thank you for watching this vlog. Peace, and I'm out.